our noses are powerful tools. They let us enjoy the sweeter things in life. Get us out of tricky situations. Adam, I can smell something burning. And let us know when we're due for uh, a shower. <sighs> but you know what? We are not the only ones who use our noses. Dogs too love to keep their nostrils entertained. Everything to them smells interesting. In fact, most of the time they are sniffing things that we can't even smell. That's because dogs, among many other animals, have a sense of smell that is 1,000 times more sensitive than ours. And Megaloo, this happy-go-lucky, playful, three-year-old Labrador cross bull mastiff has certainly done her fair share of sniffing. We got Migaloo from the Red Collar Rescue. She was an absolute ball mad crazy dog, which made her absolutely perfect as a bone detection dog. We were looking at her for other applications, but we thought that she would be so good for this work. She was also from the country, so she got um, socialised with so many animals. So she was actually able to work in the environment with lots of distractions, and they didn't bother her at all. Archaeologists are fascinated with how humans lived thousands of years ago and recovering ancient remains left behind by our ancestors helps them to do that. But finding these remains is the tricky bit. Well, by the sounds of it, Migaloo here is an archaeologist's best friend. She is, and uh, she's also a world record holder. As only a few weeks ago, she located a 600-year-old skeletal remains two metres deep. Wow. So how does she do it? Uh, we've actually trained her on um, um, old human remains. We managed to get uh, on loan from the Museum of South Australia, which was owned by the traditional owners, and these were 250-year-old Aboriginal remains. Now, we've trained her on the bones, and we actually had to build a graveyard, mm -hmm. and she can locate bones from anywhere from a large bone right down to residue odour, where you just have to rub a cotton wool bud on a bone mm -hmm. and then rub it on a rock, come back an hour later, and the dog still picks up on it. So she locates very, very small amounts, which makes it so good for um, locating grave sites. Gary has trained many pooches over his time, from search and rescue dogs to police and military canines, even just people's pets. Okay, so what I've done, I've put a small amount of residual odour on this log with a cotton wool bud, so there's no actual bone on there, it's just touched the bone and touched on the log. So we're going to go get Migaloo out and see how she goes, if she can find this. So how do you get Migaloo here uh, kicked off on the hunt? On the hunt, she's absolutely mad on a tennis ball, and the only way she can get that tennis ball is if she finds some target odour, which is the human remains. So we associate the tennis ball with the target odour, and when we start show the tennis ball, she goes crazy and she'll just search all day. Then she finds a target odour, she'll start digging and scratching, she'll even do a moonwalk, <laughs> uh, run backwards, and then she's rewarded from there. So she loves a job. It's hard to know if Migaloo knows how special and unique she is, but Gary certainly does. I'm absolutely wrapped on how Migaloo's going with her training. She's the only archaeology dog in the world and she's also a world record holder. We've got some big plans for her in the future and I have absolutely no doubt there's going to be many other dogs which is going to follow her path and this is going to help archaeologists right around the world helping uncover our historic past.